This is a story of how I became an overpacker. Tips for people that want to become overpackers. <laughs> but on a serious note, guys, I used to be like a minimal packer, right? Welcome to the Voice of Confidence. It's your girl, Maketi, the confidence coach. Yes, today's video, I am asking you for advice on how to go back to my former glory days of being a light packer or even an underpacker because almost two years ago, something happened and I just fell off the wagon. I didn't even know I was on a wagon, but now I'm seeing that I fell off the wagon. But you get it. I used to be an overpacker. I mean, I used to be an underpacker or just okay packer. Now I just go way above and beyond. The video you're going to see now is something that happened three to four months ago when I went on a solo getaway um, just to like an hour and a half from home. And it was awesome. But I overpacked. I was only there for three nights. But yeah, and it was autumn. But in that place, it's a bit warmer than here. But I need tips because now I'm going to a very warm place. Um, uh, after a few weeks, I haven't counted yet. I haven't started the countdown, but I'm really excited. And it's a warm place there. And I don't want to go back to, yeah. Yeah, so catch the video and then do comment and let me know how to pack better. How to be a lighter packer. Have fun. But over time, something just got unscrewed. I don't know what it is. So I need your help, right? Now I'm going to talk you through how overpacked I am, what for, and I'll try to explain to you how I got to becoming an overpacker. Get okay. William. So my milk straight from the cow just arrived. Um, I milked that milk. <laughs> well, part of it. Mm. There's things flying all over me, guys. Okay farm vibes that's how it's supposed to be so let's get to it right so okay perhaps i should start by saying i'm only here for three nights last night was my first night today second tomorrow's the last night um it's autumn however this place according to the weather forecast is much warmer than um alberton where i'm from joburg south um so i mean the more reason to pack lightly so yeah let's get to it so that's the size of the bag what size is this bag this bag is too big <laughs> that's the size of the bag okay so this is how i became an overpacker my theory and diagnosis right so i'll pack a gown because in the morning during my kitty time and walking around everywhere in the farm and whatever breathing in the fresh air blah 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 i want to be warm in a gown okay and when i'm in my sleeping gear in there i want to be warm in a gown okay so the gown i think is forgivable right then we move over to the other things how many pairs of shoes do i have here i've got the ones that i'm wearing now one um okay let's count tacky separately that will make a point <laughs> tacky one tacky two Tacky three. And I think that's all the tackies. Okay. Um, I don't remember my thinking behind it when I was packing three tackies, but clearly there was a good enough reason. And then when we come to flops, I know that these are for showering because they're already messed up here, you know, by water because they're not water. Water is not friendly to them. Okay, fine. So I'll pack that for the shower for days I don't want to bath. And then I have these ones for when I want, I want to walk around in my room. Okay, that could have been one pair, but yeah, overpacker tendencies. Right, then I've got my slippers, which will be in the same category as the gown. I'll forgive that. So it's the two flops. I don't know why I have two flops. I don't know why I have three tackies. Because one job could have, I mean, one pair of flops could have done jobs for many flops. And then I've got two sandals. These ones, when I packed them, I was like, oh, my birthday presents, I love them. <laughs> There's ants walking all over me. Um, let me take them. I don't know for what, guys. I'm on a farm. <laughs> I'll see. Maybe I'll use them when dressing up to go for the spa treatment or something. I don't know. Okay, and then I've got, I mean, even even socks are overpacked, guys. These ones are for cuteness. Um, these ones are for excitement. <laughs> Um, these ones are for practicality when I'm wearing, um, techies. I mean, now I'm moving over to socks. Let's stick to the sandals. So I've got those cute, love them, birthday present. Absolutely love my sandals. I've got more socks. 
I'm not going to even try bother explaining what that's for. Practicality, warm practicality. Okay, two sandals, right? And then closed shoes. Another birthday present that could not stay behind because why do I want to leave my birthday present behind? Guys, I don't know. I need help. And another pair of closed shoes. <laughs> the ones that I was wearing yesterday when I got here. And an iron. I mean, you know, self-catering place, farm vibes and whatever. There we go. So that's forgivable. But so basically on this side of the bag, I could have left like 80% of those things. So now... Please, guys, be friendly and comment. How do I reverse this? How do I go back to not being an overpacker? This doesn't make sense to me, but here it is. Okay, and then the other side, we have toiletry bag. I mean, even the toiletry bag is overpacked, guys, but that's a story for another day for another video. Okay, so here, so I justified this to myself while I was packing yesterday. I was like, okay. This is a lot, right? But I justified it to myself by saying, no, but it will fit into my bag. You know, I'm a good packer. I know how to put things away neatly so it makes space, etc., etc." But the truth is, I wouldn't need such a big bag if I was a good packer. Um, I come from those days. I know what that's like. Anyway, so here is all the tops. Okay, so I'm here. Slept yesterday. So I'm basically, because yesterday I was wearing an outfit. I wasn't naked. So I, I need an outfit for today, for tomorrow, and the day I leave, right? That's three. So the tops are one, two, uh, three, four, five. Okay, I've got five tops. None of them are warm per se. This is like a three-quarter sleeve, so we'll give that warmth to that one. And then the bottoms... I had to have five bottoms. I mean, guys, I already had five tops. So having five bottoms <laughs> was necessary at this stage. Um, okay. I really want to go back to being less of an overpacker, guys. This has been going on for over a year now. Hey, you should have seen me. I think I'll insert the picture when I was going to London just for 10 days. Um, in 2007 with my best friend, you would have sworn we were there for 30 days. Okay. The five bottoms, that's one two three four oh is it four i thought it was five okay maybe i counted the pants that i am wearing yes i did actually so <laughs> i did so now that exposes the fact that i've got five tops because i was wearing that one with these shorts and right now i'm wearing my pajama top because <laughs> i'm still to bath right okay so five bottoms five tops and then in case it gets cold, because even though the weather forecast says it's warm, blah, blah, but we know life. I've got uh, a jersey that's rolling up the rest of the warm stuff. Which is another pair of pants, two pairs of pants, two jerseys, and that third jersey. Okay? That's a lot. Wow. Okay? And then here, I've got my pajamas. So I've got the winter long pajamas in case it gets cold, but just the bottoms, not the top. And then for my summer pajamas, which is the ones I brought, I'm wearing the top right now. And I've got the shorts as well. Oh, there's things walking all over me. And then here, I've got my swim stuff and my gym stuff. So that's it. I need your help. I would appreciate it. So, yeah. Bye. So, what did you think? What did you think? Ooh, what went wrong? What am I doing wrong? Because obviously I was giving you excuses, right? Um, but I want you to help me so that I don't do it again. So I look forward to all of that. And remember to like, subscribe, and share, and subscribe, and subscribe, and subscribe, and like. And until next time, this is Makenti on The Voice of Confidence. And this speaking thing is awesome.